Hello and happy day everyone. And by everyone, I mean all three of you that will probably watch this video. And just a uh, side note on that one is Rome wasn't conquered in a day. Alright, that's all my stupidness I think for now. Uh, it's a beautiful day, Northeast Ohio, North Canton to be exact. Getting ready to pull into Bears Power Sports here for Indian Motorcycles Demo Days. Uh, being a prime location, one of the busier uh, Indian dealerships in the state of Ohio, uh, we always get the the big, big semi-trailer, which is usually a couple dozen bikes. We normally have at least two of everything. There's one of the FTRs going out now. I've uh, got one of the new Chiefs coming up to the light that's going to be pulling out again. Roadmasters, a couple Roadmasters, there's a couple Pursuits, Challengers, etc, etc, etc. You guys get the idea. Um, Alright, going to be a lot of the same people that we saw yesterday, and that's just perfectly fine. As long as they get a couple, couple new riders, a couple new to Indian riders on the bikes, that's the whole... The whole point, the whole gist of the shindig. So there's two of the Roadmasters there pulling in here. And I must say that we are lucky and blessed to have such an amazing dealer. Um, of course, can't always go by what you hear on social media or whatever. But from some of the stuff that we hear on Facebook and different groups and stuff, not everybody is as lucky as us. So, yep, like I said, these are all personal bikes, so definitely a lot of people out and about wanting to ride some new motorcycles. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna try my hand at some, um, what do you call them, some review rides, if you will. I'm going to take a couple rides on a couple of these motorcycles, let you guys know what I think, and go from there all right well i'm gonna head over here and see who else here get started all that good stuff and i will be back with y'all yeah, coming over a lot of the bikes are out right now we got southern thangs grub truck giving us some food they give you a lot of food for the money oh so we got a couple of our peeps over here Do it. Do it. Come on, man. There we go. There we got a smile. I knew if I was stupid enough for long enough, he'd smile a little bit. As you see, I am on one of the FTRs. I'm going to see what this baby has. We are not supposed to do sport mode. But I do declare that if I can figure out how to put it in there, I probably will. So first off, like, okay, I ride the Triumph, a little old Daytona 675. And I can tell you that while these are kind of geared like sport bikes and styled like sport bikes in a way, this is a lot more comfortable than what a traditional sport bike is. Um, so I'm stand, sitting way straighter up. Ooh, that's got some spunk. Sitting way straighter up. Arms are at much better positioning. And this was just the first one that was available, so here we are. And there's Sport. Traction is on, it's got settings, all kinds of different stuff. I want solar deactivation off. All right, let's go. You really couldn't ask for a better day. Let them get a little bit up ahead and see what this little thing has. 
Holy hell. Yep, the FTR's got a lot of spunk and a loose mirror. Well, yeah. If this is your style bike, you like these uh, naked type sport bikes, whatever they actually call them, just from that little bit of throttle, I would highly recommend this bike. Very, very nice, very responsive. Obviously very nimble. Yeah, that is a very, very fun bike. Very, very fun. Go jump on something, John. Huh? Try and keep up with us. All right, I'm going to go take the FTR. I rode the other one yesterday, so this will be a maiden voyage for this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to get on, John? All right. Come on. Yeah. Hold right here. <laughs> 480, 500 pound bike, 120 horsepower, 87 foot pounds of torque. Oh, yeah. So yeah, this is, uh, I know these are fun little bikes, for sure. It's FTR 1200. This one looks like it's like the silver quartz or something like that color. White, maybe. Kind of hard to tell. Looks like a couple different things. And some of the other bikes coming back in. <clears throat> All right. Well, first thing we do, put it in sport mode. First thing we're not supposed to do. Sometimes in life you just gotta break the rules to have a little bit of fun. Remember where all the switches are and stuff here. Of course, I got it in sport mode. All right. <laughs> this bike is so stupid powerful. And of course, trying to show off, I missed second gear. Just like those Facebook memes. I don't always miss second gear. I try to show off on my bike, but when I do, I miss second gear. What's that? A little bit. I actually missed second gear, too. Oh, yeah. Yep, sure did. It was like... Whoa! Yeah, it's a fun little bike, definitely. Oh, I just let him pass me. He's got that other Scout Rogue I was on a couple times yesterday. Still a fun little bike. Surprised none of us have got any speeding tickets yet. But yeah, I mean not really much to say about this one to me I mean it's a it's a definitely a fun little bike um, way more comfortable than my uh, Triumph Daytona which is just straight sport bike this one's more of an upright riding position uh, way way more comfortable definitely way more comfortable so to uh, I guess Indian to reach some of the um, like the naked sport bike riders if that's what you call them came out with the FTR and it's like a lot of things it's a love-hate relationship you either hate this kind of bike not really interested in this kind of bike don't think these kind of bikes are comfortable or this is all you'd like to ride because you like the power and all that stuff so um this one does come with the ride command, so as you did hear me earlier say, putting it in sport mode. So you got rain, standard, or sport. Uh, traction control, of course, but 
flipping through all the screens on there, it does have navigation and all that other stuff. Different, uh, different gauges and stuff. What's that? I know, so am I, man. Like, yep, that scout definitely does. Zero to 80 in no time flat. Definitely a fun little bike. Well, I only got on the pursuit. Figured I hadn't been on it yet. And let me tell you, I can't even tell that tour pack is on the back. This bike literally feels like I am... This feels like a retirement bike. When you, if you can retire and just have disposable income and go wherever you want, this bike is an iron butt bike all day long. 1,500 mile days, I do not see it being a problem on this bike. The seat is perfectly comfortable. I do not feel like I would get fatigued at all on this bike. And like I said, going around corners and everything. I mean, it's got the same engine as the regular Challengers. Um, the same 122 horsepower, 126 foot-pounds of torque. But like with all that extra weight on the back and even the front with the lowers and stuff, I do not even notice it. This bike just wants to go down the road. It's all it wants to do. It wants to keep going straight for many, many miles. This is a fantastic touring bike. I give you a good, good idea here of pretty much zero to whatever on this Challenger or Pursuit. Jeez. Man. Hey, wants to lift that fucking thing. <laughs> wow. That is one hell of an engine. I'm a diehard chieftain person. I don't really like the looks of fixed bearings. But holy crap, this fucking engine is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Going through a couple turns. Like I said, I do not even notice the trunk at all. Do it one more time, get down into first and see if you can kind of feel this power too, just from the recording. Yeah, front tire came off the ground. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. Wow. I'll tell you, this pursuit is amazing. Battery is low. Battery level low. Bummer. Um, finally got it on. The 2022 Chief Bobber Dark Horse. So when it's the 116, it's got the forward controls. As you can see, the higher handlebars. And apparently, and I'm pretty sure they're right, this one is also the Stage 2 package. And once we get up here a little bit, we will... Uh, we will prove it. Down in the second gear, likes of right around 32 or 34. Yep. This engine with these smaller bikes is no joke. 
tell you, this is this is very comfortable for a cruiser style bike. Handlebars are perfect. I'm 5'10. Handlebars are perfect. I would definitely need to get like either some highway pegs or maybe even farther forward controls. Um, but that's just me. <clears throat> like I said, this this is definitely by far the most comfortable cruiser that I've ridden during these demo days. Add those cams and everything and in sport mode. You kind of got to hold on a little bit once you get on it. Those Indian pipes don't sound too bad, but I'm used to the Reinhardt's on my Chieftain. That's a very, very fun bike. Very, very fun bike. Definitely would not mind having one of these for my around the town playing around. Very highly recommended, the Chief Bobber Dark Horse. The 116 engine, again, this one has the stage two cams with the forward-facing air cleaner and Indian Stage 1 pipes. Very, very highly recommended. Now we have Indian Springfield Dark Horse. This one has the forward-facing heavy air cleaner, Indian Stage 1 pipes, and the cams. Got my best lady over there on an Indian Scout. This bike is very comfortable. Got the, the higher bars on it, which I used last year. I'm not sure. I didn't really like them. They seem to be too much, but now these feel, feel really good. said with those cams it's definitely got a little bit of pep to it kind of like this rider view too this rider view is like something I don't know like those paintings you see of just the handlebars going into the sunset that's kind of how this bike feels it is in sport mode it does have the sport um, standard and touring. Yeah, overall, very, very comfortable bike. So this one that I'm on right now, it's the Quartz Gray. It's uh, 24,000. And with the Thunderstroke 116, it's got the 126 pounds of torque. And this is the Mid Rise 8 handlebars. And of course, they got all the ABS and everything like that, so. Um, but yeah, once we get uh, get up past this bite a little bit, I'll get on it pretty good and let you, let you maybe even be able to hear. I'm not sure how well you can hear the pipes and whatnot. It definitely sounds good. <laughs> Got a lot of kick to it. Put it in sport mode, and I'll tell you, this bike rips. Very comfortable. Yeah. Has stage two cams on this 116, no joke. Very powerful, very comfortable bike. Comfortable riding position. See, it's all forward facing. Very, very comfortable. I was lucky enough to get on the Scout Rogue. It's 
the liquid cooled 69 cubic inch engine puts out 100 horsepower and let me tell you this is the in my opinion the most comfortable scout and it's a fun little bike Me personally, I would definitely flip the mirrors back up. I do not like having to look away from the road that much to check the mirrors that are down like that. But it is an easy swap. You just pop them off, switch the sides, and go from there. So, yes, it's like I said, I mean, if you can see, it's a nice and comfortable riding position. It's got, definitely got some power. So I do really think that Indian knocked it out of the park with this new Scout model. It's the same engine as all the other ones, but once you get... I'm not a tall, tall guy, 5'10", but once you get a little bit taller guys, girls, on these bikes, this one definitely gives you some more room. Now the Scouts on these engines, they don't have a ride command, so there's no, no sport mode, touring mode, anything like that. Um, just straight up, what you see is what you get, which the power this little bike has, being a 500-ish pound bike, is not a problem. Although sport mode would be fun. But yeah, it's, like I said, this is definitely just a... Uh, cruise down the road for quite a while in this. It's very comfortable for me, again, being 510. So, so yeah, once we get up to this next light up around here, I will uh, make sure I'll go around the turn nice and slow so that we can see what uh, just a takeoff is from, from, uh, from almost a complete stop. I know it'll definitely sit you back in the seat a little bit. This one here too is the uh, the sagebrush smoke green color, which is a great color. I personally am a huge, huge matte paint fan. My bike is the uh, the Indian Chieftain, the Ruby Smoke, and I tell you, I've never had a bike that's easier to take care of. No chrome, no gloss paint, no wax and buffing. Just uh, with some Dawn dish soap every now and then. Every now and then, use a little bit of wipe off and stuff, and you're good to go. Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, do the quick start there because of this semi up in front of me. But the semis, he's going, that's for damn sure. Yeah, we've been blessed to have such beautiful weather here in uh, Northeast Ohio. Again, North Canton area, specifically at the moment. But mid 80s, sunny, all day long, light breeze. That's what it's all about. Sunny days and motorcycles. Sunny days and motorcycles. So here we go. All right. So I was able to get down a little bit. So. Nice little quick, uh, quick jaunt up to 80 miles an hour. Yeah, this engine. This is a fun engine. Definitely a fun engine. Of course, being just a 500 pound bike, plus or minus, I can't remember the exact exact stats, but of course it'll be, be easy to whip around corners and for twisties and stuff like that. So, and I do know that you can, um, of course, upgrade the exhaust and a couple other things if, uh, if you're kind of missing the ride command sport mode and whatnot, but... I don't really see much of a much of a point to be going with uh, sport mode on this bike here. 
got different uh, different readouts. Of course, you're going to see your battery voltage, mileage, of course. Uh, it's got two different trip meters. And what I like, since it doesn't have the RPM gauge, is it'll have the digital readout of your RPM. So, never been a fan of these little Sons of Anarchy fairings, but they look really good on this bike. And I'm just really, really super impressed with this Scout Rogue. I say I wouldn't mind having one of these in the stable next to my touring bike to rip around town or some 100, 200 mile rides. But gotta keep the bagger for them traveling days. Yeah, so I'll give you a better idea of what this engine's got here once I get around this corner. I freaking love this bike. <laughs> yeah. This thing's great. All right. There we go.